Chapter 70 To W. C. White Battle Creek, Michigan, March 7, 1890 Dear Willie, I received your letter this noon, and oh, how glad I was to get it. I'm so thankful that you are with your dear family, and that Mary is no worse. I called to see Reba this morning. She thinks she feels better every day. She says she is certainly growing stronger. She says her appetite is good, her courage good, and she has, she says, everything she wants in the line of food. I took her a shawl and my woolen knit slippers and bought her a pair of warm, soft kid shoes lined with flannel. She has plenty of company, is not lonesome at all. She is taken out to ride in the wheelchair every pleasant day. She enjoys her rides. It has been quite cold, but sunny. The evenings are very pleasant. There is some ice now, which is causing great rejoicing. Last Sabbath I spoke in forenoon upon Christ's riding into Jerusalem. It made a solemn impression upon the full house. In the afternoon I spoke about one hour, and I said just as straight things as God ever gave me to speak, then called them forward. The front seats back to the post were all occupied. Then the side seats, many of them, were filled. A number of backsliders came forward, some making a start for the first time. Leon Smith came forward, Robert Sawyer, and many youth. We then prayed, and then those who came forward bore their testimony. Robert Sawyer has started again to try, not, he says, in his own strength, but in the strength of Jesus to be a Christian. This evening made a very decided impression. From this time I went into the morning meetings. I had a talk with Larson, then with Porter, but their minds are cloudy. The Lord gave me great strength, freedom, and power to speak in the morning meetings. Tuesday morning I saw, as I was making an illustration very pointed, Larson on the broad grin. I said, What is it, Brother Larson? Have I spoken anything that is improper? I asked twice the reason of such demonstrations. He finally said it was because he appreciated the illustration. Very well, I said. If it fits you, take it, and I hope all will do this. Next morning he was not present. Wednesday, Thursday, he was present. The Lord gave me great clearness and power in speaking. What was my surprise to receive a letter from Larson in which he asks me to set him right before the people because of my sharp rebuke, that is, confess I had wronged him. This matter sunk my heart like lead. What to say to these men? How to treat their strong spirits was a difficult problem to solve. I knew not what to do. I left it all to Jesus, and in the morning I arose and wrote eight pages to Brother Larson, but could not use it. This morning, Friday, when I arose to speak, I then told the class, yes, a room full, of the words that I had spoken two mornings before, and I think I never spoke more decidedly than on that occasion. I have just received a good letter from Brother Watt. He says he was one who came full of opposition to the meeting, but he takes the testimony which I bore, and he wants to confess to Elder Wagner and to the class the first opportunity. I am sure the Spirit of the Lord is at work. What the strong spirits will do I cannot tell. Larson called to see me a few minutes ago. I was altogether too busy to see him. What he wants to say I know not, but I feel that they want to get me to say something they can make a handle of, and I want to be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. The Lord greatly blessed me upon the Sabbath, and I have been blessed every time I have spoken. My trust is in the Lord God of Israel. I shall speak every morning now. The first morning there were but few in the morning meeting. Now the room is well filled. We had to come to just the same decision as in your letter in regard to appointments. John and J. E. Wagner searched the matter up, and your plans are all right. I will come, too, then. Edson has gone to Indiana. will be away two weeks. I do not know, as I can tell you, any news. Brother Olson came back from the East. He had very cheering reports, of which he will, I think, write soon. I had an interview with Brother S. H. Lane. He is of good courage, but they have, he says, only two ministers left in New York State. I have just received a letter from A.T. Jones in response to the letter you sent him. You have a copy of the same. He says he has sent one to you. I am quite tired. 
and will close. Mother. <laughs>